Hello everyone and welcome back to Tell Me Why. We left off with that Tyler appreciating me for putting him in his place. Let's move along and try to go get some answers. Oh, sound, why do you keep cutting out in my ear? Because I don't like it. Hey, look what I found. What did you find? Oh. Aha. I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. T. What are you doing? He's putting a T. Duh. What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. I'm assuming he put T-A. Good for him. So, what's the plan? Just ask. I mean, let's just be front with him. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that yeah, day. Yeah, don't, don't freak right. out. Don't yell at him. Don't get let's upset. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. <laughs> yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering <laughs> for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. <laughs> Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Here we go. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two... Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? <coughs> we had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? I don't know. We can't just say we know he's lying because we saw it in a vision. <laughs> yeah, we need some solid proof. You mean like a case file? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go don't big be. or go home. 
Dr. Torres. No. You said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson? Different last name? Yes. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. What's up? Come on, headset. See you around then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6:13 a.m. Let's go upstairs, Tyler. How are we gonna be? We're just gonna walk upstairs. But you couldn't stay to give a statement. Um, I have to be at surgery. Hey, what do you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah, toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you, first door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah. Okay. Act normal. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Okay, so... Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized... There's no access to the first floor this way. Shenzi. We need to find another way up. 9 a.m. But you couldn't stay to give a statement? Uh, I had to be in surgery at hmm. night. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. Sure. All right, so... What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident. You heading out? Yeah, of course. I really appreciate you coming in after a 24 hour shift. Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. This seems so dangerous. But Oh yeah, this This is not going to fucking end well. Right? There. It fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Not really, no. Right, let's go. Okay, we're... enough to bike to work in sub-zero weather. That would be Vincenzi. He's got a bike for every season. Names him, too. Uh, what's this one called? 
Duncan Rocket. Hey, which one's Brown's car? Why? I was thinking of letting a little air out of his tires. You know, in case we need to make a break for it. Ha ha. Okay, so... <laughs> Oops. Oh my god. Uh, is that supposed to be Greg's? Oh, yeah. Well, no one knows for sure, but the resemblance is uncanny. Who's the artist? Cold case. What's that red warehouse for? Shooting range. Ah. Okay, so what kind of diversion am I supposed to make? Fire exits right behind me. Okay, so those garbage cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We don't have time for a ranger rant. And I've got the wildlife channel too. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but I mean, sure. Is there anything else I can do, or that's that's gonna be the? All right. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. All right, well. There's winter air. Okay, I'm by the door. Come on. This is so... I... Not sure why we're like in a super hardcore rush. Like, get in. Oh, God, what did I just do? And she's back. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Bieber for company. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Oh. 
Oh no, so he paid for you to go there? Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Personnel files, apartment budgets, but zero case files. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah, the community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the saving chart. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we're gonna find... Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Wait. That's Allison. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan. Perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Oh. Huh. Hey, you. Though... We are destined to burn. We emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Wait. No. Okay, well, um, I don't think it's in here. This is so dangerous. I'm even gonna say this, but maybe there's something in Eddie's office. Did I miss something? Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information, and computers are basically information pinatas. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? <laughs> huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. All right. Well. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's got to be where our file is. Oh. This is so dangerous, guys. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Okay. 
You're pressing the wrong numbers. Okay. Um, da, de, do. Yes. Oh God, this is so dangerous. I would have just wait till he's out. It's like I don't uh, understand. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Oh, because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Nope. R6. Let's see, case by my partner officer. She's a white female identified over deck into the lake. Auto recorded tape. Holt and I arrived the same brief by incident brown witness. Minor name redacted, Ronan, and minor name redacted, Ronan. Children. Couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care. <sighs> Prince victims, crime lab tech, alley, complete face. Okay. Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. This is case T T A sixty six five eight five. Put it back. Search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Autopsy.
Oh, storage. Six, okay. R62766. References 05 R62766. <sighs> not this no, one either. This one. No, that's not it. No? R6. Nope. Well, R6. I mean, in my imagination. R six, R six two. Okay, I need to check out zero five R sixty two seven sixty six. It's already out. I have her autopsy report. Okay. She got her. What is it? She drowned. <laughs> Stab wound was non fatal. What? Blood force seen in the mouth and nose. Water logged lungs. Oh. Blood work. Evans fresh water and heal. No, 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 go back. Uh, natural suicide, homicide, accidental could not be determined. If other than natural causes, how did injury occur? With scissors, victim then fell. Um, was operation performed for Kendra Stay Above? Uh, organ. Texas, uh, witnesses to autopsy, DCBD. Stab wound. Death by drowning. Feud. View. Um, body tag. Okay, type blood taken by SS. Storage jars. Screen. Alcohol. Yeah, I figured. So she was drinking. What am I? What am I supposed to do now? Oh. Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? 
Hello, I can hear you. It's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Oh, Don't hang up. Delos Crossing Police Department. Delos Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Here. Storage. Zero one. Zero one com. References. Zero five. Zero one. Com. EBR. Services. What do you mean? I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? There has to be more to this. Just, just keep looking. Wait, wait. Delivery... Delivery... Attempt. Oops. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? I'm coming out. No, you're not. He'll see you. I'm using the end it here and we'll pick it <laughs> i know it's an awkward place to end it but i don't want the episode to get too long anyways thank you all for watching i will talk to you guys in the next episode take care and thank you thank you if you have made it this far i hope you are enjoying the series talk to you then take care bye